In Chinese history, goldfish was seen as a symbol of luck and fortune. Moreover, only members of the Song dynasty could own goldfish. In Iran and among the international Iranian diaspora, goldfish is a traditional part of Nowruz celebrations. Goldfish is usually used in half sin table as the symbol of progress. The goldfish is a freshwater fish in the family Cyprinidae of order Cypriniforms. It is commonly kept as a pet in indoor aquariums, and is one of the most popular aquarium fish. Goldfish released into the wild have become an invasive pest in parts of North America. Native to East Asia, the goldfish is a relatively small member of the carp family, which also includes the Prussian carp and the Crucian carp. It was first selectively bred for color in Imperial China more than 1,000 years ago, and several distinct breeds have since been developed. Goldfish breeds vary greatly in size, body shape, fin configuration, and coloration, various combinations of white, yellow, orange, red, brown, and black are known. Various species of carp collectively known as Asian carp have been bred and reared as food fish for thousands of years in East Asia. Some of these normally gray or silver species have a tendency to produce red, orange or yellow color mutations. This was first recorded in Imperial China, during the Jin Dynasty, 266 to 420. During the Tang Dynasty, it was popular to raise carp in ornamental ponds and water gardens. A natural genetic mutation produced gold, actually yellowish-orange, rather than silver coloration. People began to selectively breed the gold variety instead of the silver variety, keeping them in ponds or other bodies of water. On special occasions at which guests were expected, they would be moved to a much smaller container for display. By the Song Dynasty, the selective domestic breeding of goldfish was firmly established. In 1162, the empress of the Song dynasty ordered the construction of a pond to collect the red and gold variety. By this time, people outside the imperial family were forbidden to keep goldfish of the gold-yellow variety, yellow being the imperial color. The occurrence of other colors, apart from red and gold, was first recorded in 1276. During the Ming dynasty, goldfish also began to be raised indoors, which permitted selection for mutations that would not be able to survive in ponds. The first occurrence of fancy-tailed goldfish was recorded in the Ming Dynasty. In 1603, goldfish were introduced to Japan. In 1611, goldfish were introduced to Portugal and from there to other parts of Europe. During the 1620s, goldfish were highly regarded in southern Europe because of their metallic scales, and symbolized good luck and fortune. It became a tradition for married men to give their wives a goldfish on their first anniversary, as a symbol for the prosperous years to come. This tradition quickly died, as goldfish became more available, losing their status. Goldfish were first introduced to North America around 1850 and quickly became popular in the United States. Like most species in the carp family, goldfish produce a large amount of waste both in their feces and through their gills, releasing harmful chemicals into the water. Buildup of this waste to toxic levels can occur in a relatively short period of time, and can easily cause a goldfish's death. For common and comet varieties, each goldfish should have about 20 U.S. gallons 76 L, 17 imp gal of water. Fancy goldfish, which are smaller, should have about 10 U.S. gallons 38 L, 8.3 imp gal per goldfish. The water surface area determines how much oxygen diffuses and dissolves into the water. A general rule is have 1 square foot 0.093 square meters. Active aeration by way of a water pump filter or fountain effectively increases the surface area. The goldfish is classified as a cold water fish, and can live in unheated aquaria at a temperature comfortable for humans. However, rapid changes in temperature, for example in an office building in winter when the heat is turned off at night, can kill them, especially if the tank is small. Care must also be taken when adding water, as the new water may be of a different temperature. Temperatures under about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, are dangerous to fancy varieties, though commons and comets can survive slightly lower temperatures. Extremely high temperatures, over 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit, can also harm goldfish. However, higher temperatures may help fight protozoan infestations by accelerating the parasite's life cycle, thus eliminating it more quickly. The optimum temperature for goldfish is between 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and 22 degrees Celsius, 72 degrees Fahrenheit.
Like all fish, goldfish do not like to be petted. In fact, touching a goldfish can endanger its health, because it can cause the protective slime coat to be damaged or removed, exposing the fish's skin to infection from bacteria or waterborne parasites. However, goldfish respond to people by surfacing at feeding time, and can be trained or acclimated to taking pellets or flakes from human fingers. The reputation of goldfish dying quickly is often due to poor care. The lifespan of goldfish in captivity can extend beyond 10 years. If left in the dark for a period of time, goldfish gradually change color until they are almost gray. Goldfish produce pigment in response to light, similarly to how human skin becomes tanned in the sun. Fish have cells called chromatophores that produce pigments which reflect light, and give the fish coloration. The color of a goldfish is determined by which pigments are in the cells, how many pigment molecules there are, and whether the pigment is grouped inside the cell or is spaced throughout the cytoplasm. Because goldfish eat live plants, their presence in a planted aquarium can be problematic. Only a few aquarium plant species, for example cryptocorine and anubias, can survive around goldfish, but they require special attention so that they are not uprooted. Plastic plants are more durable. Goldfish are popular pond fish, since they are small, inexpensive, colorful and very hardy. In an outdoor pond or water garden, they may even survive for brief periods if ice forms on the surface, as long as there is enough oxygen remaining in the water and the pond does not freeze solid. Common, London and Bristol Shabunkins, Jicken, Joaquin, Comet and some hardier fantail goldfish can be kept in a pond all year round in temperate and subtropical climates. More, Veiltail, Oranda and Lionhead can be kept safely in outdoor ponds year-round only in more tropical climates and only in summer elsewhere. Compatible fish include rudd, tench, orf and koi, but the last require specialized care. Ramshorn snails are helpful by eating any algae that grows in the pond. Without some form of animal population control, goldfish ponds can easily become overstocked. Fish such as orf consume goldfish eggs. Ponds small and large are fine in warmer areas although it ought to be noted that goldfish can overheat in small volumes of water in the summer in tropical climates. In frosty climes, the depth should be at least 80 cm to preclude freezing. During winter, goldfish become sluggish, stop eating and often stay on the bottom of the pond. This is normal. They become active again in the spring. Unless the pond is large enough to maintain its own ecosystem without interference from humans, a filter is important to clear waste and keep the pond clean. Plants are essential as they act as part of the filtration system, as well as a food source for the fish. Plants are further beneficial, since they raise oxygen levels in the water. Like their wild ancestors, common and comet goldfish as well as shabunkin can survive, and even thrive, in any climate that can support a pond, whereas fancy goldfish are unlikely to survive in the wild as their bright colors and long fins make them easy prey. Like some other popular aquarium fish, such as the guppy, goldfish and other carp are frequently added to stagnant bodies of water to reduce mosquito populations. They are used to prevent the spread of West Nile virus, which relies on mosquitoes to migrate. However, introducing goldfish has often had negative consequences for local ecosystems. The market for live goldfish and other crucian carp usually imported from China was $1.2 million in 2018. Some high-quality varieties cost between $125 to $300.